Hi lovely people on the food tube. Look uh, who's with me today. It's Jamie. Let's show you guys how to make the most incredible tuna carpaccio. Yes! Beautiful. Gennaro grew up making carpaccio. Carpaccio came originally from Venice. It's so uh, fresh, so good. Why not? So look, we've got a glass of wine. Yes. Okay, one for Gennaro. Uh, one for me. It's a lovely hot day in England today. Uh, and also, we're going to use capers in this story. And just come over here, have a look down there. Lovely small capers. And that little rosé, put that on your capers. Now, why would you do that? Just to pull out that excess salt, okay? To make them fragrant and floral again. Just leave them for 10 minutes. They'll be beautiful. Just so you know, guys, I've got some chilies here. You know I love chilies. Um, I'm just blacking them on the gas stove. You could do this on a barbecue. So I'm going to just slice you a little bit of tuna. I'm going to try and do it as thin as I can, but also keep it, you know, whole. I'd rather you not stress about doing it too thick. No. And what we can do is, if you want it really thin, put it between cling film and you can just pat it out even finer. If you go to uh, Peru, you've got ceviche, okay? Uh, which is the method of cooking fish without heat. You know, you just use acid, lime juice, lemon juice, citrus juice, salt. So really, you know, from Sicily to Peru, even hundreds, thousands of years ago, people still knew that if you cover the flavor of the fish up or the meat up too much, you lose the point. So what I'm doing now, I just, just slice, well, cut on the lemon. Look, what actually I do it, I just cook a little bit of the tuna with the lemons, but not for long. It's only have to be a couple of minutes. One minute. Well, one minute, that's it. So in the same time, I have here, some nice fennel. Always keep an eye on that particular carpaccio. You don't want it to change the color too much because it's starts to change, change a bit of color. Uh, look, you can see here, guys, I've just pulled this skin off, okay? So blacken it, pull it off, and now I'm just gonna remove the stalk and the seeds. What I love about this is me and Gennaro, we didn't even plan this, and we haven't even talked about what we're gonna do, but we're basically on the same. <laughs> we're on the same journey together. So how much do you want? Just say when. Enough, 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 just a little bit. A little bit of garlic. You can see that, if you look inside it, it starts to change a little bit of over color. The lemons went right through. That would give it a lovely flavor, but you do not to disturb the flavor of the tuna. Mm. Look, if you come here now, this way, you got look now. You got the fennel, you got the chili, you got the basil, you got the garlic, and let's not forget this beautiful capers inside, the flavor of the sea. Little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Make sure that the garlic, the chili, all the herbs mix together. So, and it goes again, just one lovely slice, one on top of the other, because you remove all the excess. Really slow with that olive oil. Because why I do this with olive oil? Because there's enough olive oil there, but also I want all this lovely paste. Oh, yeah to stay on top. I call them a paste, I call them a Roman. Look at that, the garlic, the chili, the capers, the fennels and that. And to cleanse your mouth while you cook it, those, while you eat it, you need a little bit of wild rocket. Remember we got these little bits of chili here. And then what I want to do is just get nice little slithers. See that little bit of oil here? Yeah. I'm just going to nick that just to dress it because I don't want to put any more oil because we've got enough oil at me. The little hit of chilli gives you a lovely pop of colour and of course you get green and yellow chillies. You so, change to that dish in such a beautiful way. Yes! So there you go. A beautiful Sicilian carpaccio of tuna. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. I think we should eat it. Yes, shall we? The garlic, the fennel. And remember you could use different herbs. But I've got to say, the chilli does make the capers work better. Oh my, my, oh my. If you want to see what I do with this, which is an Asian-inspired um, tuna dish, click on the link below. Uh, if you haven't seen any of Gennaro's videos, which is impossible because everyone has, please go and see his channel, subscribe, it's brilliant. He's got so many videos, haven't you? So many Friendly. videos. Uh, if you like this, like it. If you want to share it, share it. Put the comments on the comments box below. If you've done a beautiful carpaccio and you want to share it with us, please do. But until next time, from me and Gennaro. Salute! And let's celebrate whatever we're cooking. Love you. Subscribe. It is free. From me and Gennaro, until next time, ciao. Arrivederci.